Every morning, I am that baby Yoda meme of waiting for your dog to do a business in the garden. Except I don't have a coffee yet. Well done! You are just such a mood. So why are we not embedded? Sorry. Good morning everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. Today I'm going to be talking you through my morning routine for 2021 because I know you guys enjoyed the last morning routine that I did at the start of the last lockdown. So I thought let's stick with tradition. Let's carry on. Let's do another morning routine where I'm doing the same thing. Which actually has not changed for about six years so can't blame lockdown for that. I am lying on the sofa in the kitchen and I literally I've just been waiting for the coffee to kick in because I can't, I can't speak to, like, Ryan struggles with me in the morning so I can't speak to people, like, your brain is very awake in the morning and mine is not, so sometimes I'm like, <laughs> so I think I'm going to do this and then, uh, I'm do that. Yeah. Ryan comes up with so many crazy ideas in the morning, not all crazy, like, sometimes he's just like, I'm going to renovate my garden and I'm like, today? <laughs> <laughs> I just can't speak to anyone in the morning when I used to work in an office like no one would speak to me people liked me like they wanted to speak to me but no one would speak to me till like 11 maybe midday sometimes 2 p.m is my like 2 till 4 are my best hours <laughs> but yeah so this morning we did not get up bang on 7 30 I definitely sneezed the alarm we always get up somewhere between 7 30 and 8 30 and then we make coffees. My morning routines at the moment are not the same every single morning because lockdown life, we needed to add a little bit of spice to that. So I will put a thing on screen, but I basically like drafted out what my variants of a morning look like. It's kind of like this or this. If I do this, I'll do this at this point. So if you want like a real in depth, I don't know why anyone would want this, but I thought I would be thorough. I've done like an overview of what my mornings like literally look like. That's been the morning so far. Filled in the five minute journal, which I'll talk you through a bit more in a bit because I know people have questions. This mug, by the way, it's from ASOS. I don't think they have it in stock anymore because I put all my stories and it disappeared. Thank you to, I think her name might have been Natalie in my DMs that sent me the link to the Gilmore Girls mug. She is my like favorite person. So things have changed slightly in the coffee making setup. I've got, well, it's a whole new house, whole new kitchen, but I've got a Smeg coffee machine because the old coffee machine is at Ryan's because sadly it belonged to him and I didn't want to give it up, but had to eventually. But I really like this one, it matches the kitchen. So that was how this happened. Yeah, you have this, fill it with coffee, stick it in the little thingy, press this button and then it like gives you the coffee. I have the world's tiniest milk jug so that is why we are still <laughs> heating milk in the microwave because <laughs> I ordered this on Amazon and I didn't look at the actual size of the jug. I didn't know they made them this small like what is this? But so yeah coffee goes in here I then add a little bit of this. This is one of the Jordan skinny syrups in white chocolate mocha but I also have things I should never admit s'mores, cookie dough, love this one, chocolate caramel truffle, white chocolate, which is the one that I like the least, I have to say. Yeah, it's just something about it that um, I don't love. I usually mix it with like another one and put it in my coffee. And then we have this, which I put in my hot chocolates. There might actually be some in this cupboard. Yeah, we have another s'mores because it's my favorite. And then we have, this is mostly Nala's cupboard, as you can tell, there's dog treats everywhere. Pumpkin caramel scone. And I haven't tried this one yet. Has someone else tried it? Let me know, is it good? But yeah, that is my shameful secret, as I am a hoarder of uh, coffee syrups. And then my empty fridge. Just there's a lot of rosé and not a lot of anything else. We then microwave some oat milk for about two minutes 30. And that is how the coffee that you saw earlier came to be. Thrilling, wasn't it? Yeah, I know. God, you got a gray hair, little one. Me too! It's lockdown stress, isn't it? Yeah, it's very stressful. Look at that little face! And this one's morning routine is to sit on Ryan when he puts his dressing gown on. Only when he puts the dressing gown on, she then sits on him until he leaves or she leaves, depending on which house we're at. She literally just <laughs> flops. So one thing I really 
like to do it in the morning is go around my house, open up all of the like windows, shutters and everything. And then it's time for me to go in to the bathroom. So this is my bathroom, if you haven't seen it. I love my bathroom. At first I didn't love it because it was like done by the renovators and it was like very kind of like trendy but I actually am growing to love it, especially the, the design of it. I love this little wall here. This might be, some people might be like, that's very standard, hun. But I've never lived in a property that's had anything like this. And I love that when I'm vlogging here, you can't see the toilet. Goals, because it's nothing like just being like, oh yeah, I'm vlogging. And then there's a toilet in the background. It's not the vibe. So yeah, really, really like this bathroom. And yeah, my morning skincare routine is fairly quick. It's basically a quick cleanse, little mist, and then like hydrate my skin in some kind of way. Also brush my teeth, obviously, because I'm not an animal. And this is the toothbrush I have. I love this one. I got it for my birthday. Some of you will remember I used to have this bit in pink, but my mum got me this for my birthday. It's my favorite toothbrush. Like I'm really passionate about dental care. It's like one of the weird things that people find out about me when they get to know me. And these are the two toothpastes I would normally use. If you've watched my like beauty routine kind of video that I filmed at the start of lockdown, you'll know this, but I always get questions on teeth and stuff like that. So this is one of the toothpaste that I always use. I always have a rotation of like this and this one. So yeah, this is the Oral-B 3D White Luxe Glamorous White. Never the Arctic one, which is always on offer, <laughs> but like the taste of it is just grim. That's the only one that I won't have out of that range. And then we have the Pearl Drops Luminous Bright White Pro Shine Complex. This is a pink toothpaste. I love it. Though it does like really show up on your sink. So if you're a bit funny about that kind of thing, you're gonna hate this, but I love this toothpaste. And you can use it to begin with like three times a day as like a whitening treatment and then go on to use it as a normal toothpaste. And then for skincare, I'm gonna be using the Summer Fridays cleanser. I'm really enjoying this at the moment. I've been trying out two new ones. So we've got the Herbivore Pink Cloud Cleanser. Oh my god, just the cutest cleanser. Not sure on this one, but I do really like this one. And then I'll follow it up with the Allies of Skin Molecular Saver Probiotics Treatment Mist. Long name. Love this mist. It's like the only mist that I'll like actually spend my money on. And then we have the Sunday Riley UFO Ultra Clarifying Facial Oil. And that's the base of my routine. And that is based on the fact that I haven't been out for a walk this morning. If I've been out for a walk, then I normally will have to double cleanse because I'll have SPF already on my face. And then if I'm not planning on going out today, I'll take it back off so that my skin can like breathe a little bit more. It's going now. Bye. <laughs> right, see you later. Hmm. Love you. <laughs> now that looks like that's how we actually just say bye. Like, bye. <laughs> bye. It's like a 10 minute ordeal. <laughs> we don't say goodbye that quickly. Love you. Have a good day, honey. Love you. Have a good bye. day. Bye. I've still got my eye cream in my hand. <laughs> Back to the bathroom. So I've got to say about my eye cream. So this is the Bare Minerals Skin Longevity Eye Cream. If you want a roundup of this, I'm pretty certain that I have my skincare routine going up in reels on Instagram. So if you ever need a little like referral back to it. Yeah, that is like the basis for my skincare routine. This is the spray SPF that I use. And then the other SPF is always in my bag just in case I need to like top up at any point because of my evening skincare routine. I'm so particular on like making sure my skin is SPF'd at all times. So this is the Helio Care SPF. They do do a non-condogenic one, which is meant to be good if you have like breakouts. I'm gonna give that one a try because my skin doesn't love SPF, but I obviously persevere because we are doing well. So don't give up on your SPF kids. That is the basis of my routine. So I'm gonna like get on with it. Next, I have come into my bedroom. I'm gonna just pick out something to throw on really quickly. I end up getting changed like a hundred times throughout the day. And because of that, I'm just gonna like pick out literally like a jumper and then maybe something comfy trousers wise just whilst I'm doing my makeup. So 
so I've gone for this jumper from and other stories because it is absolutely freezing this morning and then I've actually put on my Topshop Sydney jeans which are like black skinnies and I've put these on because I'm gonna wear them for the reel that I think I'm gonna film this afternoon so it just makes it easier in terms of like not having to change so much so yeah that is what I've gone for and then my slippers are from ASOS. I'm gonna spray some perfume. This is the All Saints Sunset Riot. I love this fragrance. There is literally like nothing else like it in the world. I love it. And then we come into the office. I've actually been in here several times this morning. I've been sending footage to Lauren whilst I've been filming, but this is where I sit and obviously do my work, but I also do my makeup here just because number one, it's quick. If I need to jump on a call, I'm already at my desk. And also the light in here, not today, because it's so dark, but the light in here is normally really good as well. The sheer curtains really help to like diffuse light. It's gorgeous, but today I'm just gonna use my ring light and sit with you and do my makeup. Okay, so I'm at my desk and it looks really dark in here and that's because it basically is like, it is the worst weather today. I'm gonna take you through my makeup routine. Normally, I would switch my computer on and put on some music and just kind of like bop around whilst I do my makeup, but not today because I'm gonna be talking to you and I will be demonetized. I am going to get started with my base so i've gone back to using the by terry brightening cc serum in sunny flash and what i like to do is put a pump of that onto this tiny little charlotte tilbury brush and then a pump of the charlotte tilbury magic foundation this is the shade six medium i like to put them both on the brush and then just kind of like dot it around i'm going to zoom you in a bit more so you can see like my skin coverage blah 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 so i literally just like stipple that around my face it's only one pump of foundation so it's not super heavy in terms of the coverage but it gives a really lovely glow and the by terry cc serum really helps to give the glow but also a little hint of color which i'm just always lacking in the winter especially with the amount of spf i wear and with like an olive skin tone if you basically like don't see the sun you tend to go a little bit ashy so i like to use product to warm up my face a little bit i love the glow that those two give and that little bit of coverage is really lovely next i'm going to go in with a mixture of the two kevin Aquan foundation balm shades that i have i'm in between shades at the moment but it kind of works because i like a lighter shade in the center of my face i kind of use it to almost like highlight and contour a little bit which works really nicely if you are doing like a no makeup makeup look but like you know the no makeup makeup where you kind of have like a full face but it just doesn't look like it but yeah i just stipple a light amount onto my skin and then i go a little bit heavier where i need the extra coverage which is mainly over scarring let me bring you in if you are not familiar with the magic that is the kevin o'corn foundation balm i would definitely recommend looking into this if you have scarring that you like to cover up because it is just magical so you see it you see the scarring by scarring so i have a little bit of scarring around my chin which i like to cover if i squeeze a spot around here it all hell breaks loose it is awful and then at my forehead is not looking the worst i'm using the darker shade just because my forehead is usually like ever so slightly darker but yeah my forehead scarring is actually fairly light which is great so we're just doing a light stippling motion at the moment but what i will do is i will link my acne coverage high coverage scarring coverage kind of base routine that i filmed last summer i will definitely do a like minimal makeup routine at some point though i'm gonna do my eyes next i like to leave concealer until i've done my eyes generally unless i'm doing a really light eye look and then i'll do concealer after i've done my face but i like to use concealer to clean up so we're leaving it i'm using the charlotte tilbury eyes to mesmerize in rose gold if you watch my 2020 favorites you will be slightly familiar with this makeup routine but it is different this is my 2021 makeup routine so far i'm popping that on to start with and then i'm going to take my bronzer this is private island by fenty beauty and i'm just going to apply that bronzing shade to the outer corner of my eye and then kind of bring it in little windscreen wipe motions and the amount of time i spend on this depends on how much of a rush i am in to get ready that morning well depends on what i've been up to so next i'm going to take my Too faced natural lust palette you will probably remember this if you have watched any of my videos over the past year because i don't stop using this palette but i'm taking the shade call me back which is like a orangey brown and i'm taking that underneath my eye and i've actually been going even darker than usual under my eye over the past couple of weeks which i've really been enjoying but i take the brown very far in 
compared to usual i really love that look and then i take a darker brown called set in stone and i just use it on the outer part mostly so yeah that's just been applied to the outer corner and i find having like a dark smoky under eye just really suits dark eyes and then i'm just taking the excess through the outer part of my crease and then i'm taking a mix of the dark brown and black shade in the Too Faced palette and i'm going to use that to kind of stamp in a little wing every video this is where my camera goes out of focus and i never notice because i'm too busy looking down and don't worry if you're not particularly steady handed and you struggle doing stuff like this because i have got you covered i am not a professional makeup artist so i have a little skill to kind of clean it all up and tie it in together and if you're not a fan of like dark liner you could just use a lighter brown shade like the one that i'm mixing the black with especially if you've got like lighter eyes that would look really lovely so what i like to do is then take a more concentrated amount of the black shade and stamp that right at my lash line so that we get this really lovely smoky fade out but i've really been enjoying doing like a warmer kind of bronzier look over the top of that charlotte tilbury cream shadow the cream shadow really helps to give the brown some luminosity below it so it doesn't look too dull so i've applied my fenty pro filter concealer i'm using my real technique setting brush to set the concealer in place in the inner corner of my eye and then sweep it up take the opportunity to do this before you do your brows its goals and then i shape <laughs> not a professional makeup artist they would never do this because they would actually get it right in the first place but i love doing this and then with this bit of concealer here what i do is i take my dior little square headed brush i'm sure you can find affordable ones of these i just got sent this so it's what i use you want that like nice sharp line you can blend this out as well if you want it to be softer but if you want to get that like perfect winged look this is how you cheat it and sometimes i can also use this brush to pull the liner up that is goals let me see if i can do that hang on there we go you see it's starting to come up from there i can then build on that as well if i want to and then what i also like to do is take my real techniques brush and go over my under eye it basically stops the eyeshadow from like coming down too far and dragging your eye down and being too thick and heavy and you can go over this bit as well if you want it to be a little bit more subtle i also really need to do my eyebrows i'm in need of beauty maintenance do you want to see an updated beauty maintenance video let me know we just continue that wash of color over the brow bone it just helps to make everything look really seamless and beautifully blended but anyway now i am just using my bare minerals lash topia mascara my lashes really like to like tangle together so i spend a long time like making sure they're all separate but once i'm happy i like to take the end of my mascara brush like it is at the point where i have nothing left on the brush when i'm doing my upper lashes like you have to reach that point because otherwise things get a little bit out of hand on your lower lashes but I like to use the very small amount that is left and you can tell immediately when you start if you've still got too much product on the less product the better your bottom lashes end up looking that is the difference and i am i'm just here for it i love it now i'm going to do my brows and we are going to make those distant second cousins twice removed on my forehead forehead is that what we are? <laughs> We're gonna make them look like they're vaguely related. So I'm using the Hourglass Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil. I have to do each brow slightly differently because like I said, distant cousins. So I do a little bit more filling in on the underside here and then I follow this line from where I've kind of like been filling in. And I just keep following it forward towards the front of the brow. Then we just kind of flick up from there. Trying to keep the outer part of the brow as light as possible because I want my brows to, although I'm filling them in and I'm really like beefing them out, I want them to look as natural as possible. So as you can see with this brow, I've just kind of like filled the underside in, but almost where there's already hairs, rather than with this one, I've gone where there aren't hairs to kind of even them up. I'm then gonna use the Hourglass Brow Shaping Gel. This is in clear, I believe. I'm just using this to set my brows in place. I like to brush them up and have them look really fluffy, but they are not looking particularly fluffy at the moment because I trimmed them down because they were just getting a bit wild and some were like crazy long and some weren't. So it wasn't even like, cute fluffy like you know nikki wolf from nikki makeup on instagram when she brushes like the model's brows up and they all look really cute and like mm -hmm. mine did not look like that next i'm going to use a couple of the charlotte tilbury pillow talk beauty light wands i really like to use this one in the shade pillow talk over my cheeks i like to use the pillow talk one where i would want highlight and then i kind of use this one a bit more where i would prefer like bronze 
if that makes sense, but also highlight. These also would double as amazing eyeshadows as well if you want like a light wash of something. And I love blending them in using my fingers. It actually looks like this in real life as well. Like even if I don't have a ring light on my face, you can see this, it's so gorgeous. And then I'm just actually adding in my little Cupid's bow, which I like to do. I'm just adding Mac Stone and I really like to smudge it out. So that's what I kind of do pre like actually doing lip product. It just makes them look so full but without actually like heavily drawing anything in. Right, we are going to bronze up a little bit. I don't need to bronze up too much though because that highlighter really actually does a lot of good stuff for my skin, thank God. I'm gonna be taking Fenty Beauty Private Island on my IT Cosmetics angle brush is the best brush for bronzing for contour like it fits perfectly like look at that so some days i would go super heavy on the bronzer and i would bring like a load of my hourglass bronzer down through my cheekbone but i'm just going to use like a tiny amount today i'm actually really happy with how my makeup has come out today hopefully i'll be happy with it when i see it in the edit because sometimes i see my makeup in the edit and i'm like so for actual lip liner, I'm going to be using the Vive Lip Liner in the shade Velvet Sands. It's really lovely, just like neutral nude tone. So I'm literally just filling my top lip in completely with this liner. I'm actually going to add a little bit more of MAC Stone. I'm, a, I'm addicted to this MAC lip liner. This lip liner is basically like contour for your lips. It really gives like the illusion of like a shadow. And what I also like to do sometimes is use that square brush just to do a little bit of clean up around my lip as well. For my lipstick I'm adding a little bit of MAC Jubilee. I always have Jubilee, Cherish and Hue in my makeup bag at the moment. This is just a lovely brownie nude that's got a little bit of a sheen to it. And then I'm going to use MAC Hue in the centre which is a lovely pinky light nude and it's a glaze finish so it's got that real like kind of like highlighty frosty vibe to it but it helps the center of my lip look really full. And I love the fact that it's a lighter tone as well, so it makes the rest of my makeup look really bronzy. I try not to go too dark when I like line and apply lipstick to my lips because it just kind of like brings my whole face down. I've got very dark features as it is, so I like a lighter nude lipstick. But yeah, that is my makeup today. Very highlighty, very glowy, it's just, me all the time <laughs> let me know if you want the no makeup makeup version of this i would be happy to facilitate now my desk looks like this and i'm going to run away actually i will show you my five minute journal first and kind of talk you through it a little bit so i've only been doing this for a month so i can't actually really tell whether it like actually works in like the way that you kind of would think but basically i've just been trying to train my mind to think a little bit more positively recently i think there are other changes in my life that needed to happen in addition to this i don't think this book is like going to magically fix everything in my life and actually what I do is I don't just use this five minute journal for gratitude but I also use it in monitoring like have I been doing the things I need to be doing to give myself space to feel more positive because I think that is important this isn't just like fill in the kind of like blanks and your life is magically going to be better I use it to hold myself accountable for things I'm not going to show you like anything specific I'm just going to show you the questions and I'll give you examples of how I would answer it because some of them are like really personal and I just don't need to get into that to be honest there's always like a little like quote or a challenge at the top so we start off with things that you are grateful for what would make today great and your daily affirmation so with things I'm grateful for it's kind of like a bit wishy washy for me. It's mostly like coffee, Nala, Ryan. That bit I think is more important if you struggle to find the positives in your life, which I am well aware of them. I think it's one of the reasons that I struggle with anxiety so much as I know how good I've got it. And then I get frustrated that I still feel the way I feel. But the what would make today great, I really like because I pick out things that would make my day great. Not necessarily that I'd love to do. Like sometimes it's like going for a walk, even if I really don't want to do it. But those things are important or like finishing work early and then taking some time or, you know, remembering to eat a healthy lunch. And then later on, it's three amazing things that happened today. And how could I have made today better? And my three amazing things, I write them down and then I don't look at this bit until I've written these down. And then I check to see if they are like linked or if I managed to do these these things or if I didn't with the what could have made today better like sometimes you know I don't eat lunch because I get really wrapped up in my work and actually it's really important because then I get to the end of the day and I feel so sad and so miserable and so weak so like I'll put that in or maybe I'm not drinking enough water or maybe I have a really negative like thought process and I wasn't being kind to myself so I can put that but also why is that 
that I feel that way. So yeah, I basically am holding myself accountable to living a more balanced, healthy life. And I use this to kind of map out whether I'm actually doing that and hold myself accountable. It also has the daily affirmation. They do give some really cheesy examples. There's a whole section on how to like do the book at the front. But sometimes I literally just have to remind myself here that I am literally that bitch because I just forget. Like I feel like lockdown took away a huge part of like who I am but it put a whole new level of pressure on me that I've never felt before and I am like feeling not so myself so sometimes I like need to pet myself up. Yeah has it changed my life? No. Did I expect it to change my life? No. But I really enjoy having like that part of my routine in the morning. I do it with my coffee and I am finding it useful for like holding myself accountable for things I wanted to do that day. Like did I do them? Like reflecting back at the end of the day and being like did you actually do those things that you wanted to do? But that's my brief thoughts. I'm writing a blog post at the moment on it. So that is coming and that will be a lot more in depth and a lot more like well thought out than this ramble that has been six minutes long. At this point we run away from the messy office. Sometimes we close the door depending on how bad it is and I'm gonna do my hair. made myself a hot ribena. I'm ready to tidy up my desk and sit down at it very briefly before I have to film reels later this afternoon. And that is it for my morning routine. My morning routine ends once I sit at my desk. Sometimes it's a very quick turnaround in the morning. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer depending on what I'm doing. If I don't have to do makeup, I am up, I'm working at like half eight and I finish early and it is just lush. If I have to look like this, it obviously takes a little bit longer. Do let me know if you would like to see like a whole daily routine and like how my days flow. I would love to put that together for you if it's something you would like to see this year. I also forgot to mention that at the point that I do skincare, between skincare and makeup, I would also sometimes tan as well. I was meant to do that today, completely forgot. So. I'll just be not tanned for yet another day. But yeah, that is my morning routine. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you all so much for watching. There's a weird bit of hair here and I will see you guys again very, very soon. Love you, bye.